sea cucumbers are echinoderms, and uh, that is the group of animals to which sea stars, sea urchins, sea cucumbers, of course, and uh, a couple of other groups belong to. Sea cucumbers are unique because uh, they are worm-like animals, even though they are echinoderms. They are really um, amazing worms in the sense that they dominate the planet. If you think about it, the largest part of our planet is the deep sea floor, and sea cucumbers are one of the most abundant forms of life on the deep sea floor. They can do things that you couldn't even imagine. For example, they can eject their guts, throw them away, and make a new one. They can break their body into two pieces, and, and each half regenerates the other half. They have a lung, but their lung is not through their mouth, but through their anus. So they actually uh, breathe through their butt. Even though sea cucumbers are really bizarre, very uh, ancient looking animals without a brain, with a very simple body, they are actually very important model systems for understanding uh, what vertebrates are about and, and how, uh, how we tick biologically, so to speak. We have gotten very seriously into determining the different kinds of sea cucumbers. And uh, we thought we knew what the sea cucumber species of the world were, but ever since people started sequencing DNA, which is the genetic makeup of organisms, we have discovered that many of the species we thought we knew are actually more than one. And some species turned out to be two, some others three. We basically have to uh, redo much of the biodiversity and taxonomy that we thought we knew in the world. And um, one of the interesting questions that we are currently working on is, is a group of sea cucumbers that are called the teat fish because they have these little, little bumps on their bodies. And they were thought to be initially to be one species and the late last study found them to be three. Now we are up to six different species based on um, DNA work and, and other morphological work. And so we are discovering species of these that are uh, unknown and yet they are totally overfished already. They are almost fished down to extinction before we even discover who they are. People think that we know most things about life on Earth, but we really don't. And, and being a biologist today, to see this diversity in the ocean and, and really realize how much of this is still unknown just blows my mind. And when we share this information with some of these island nations where, where really the ocean is the livelihood of these places, the people there are really receptive to it. And we have managed to close some sea cucumber fisheries on some of the Pacific Islands by basically explaining to people the life cycle of these animals and what overfishing does and, and how they can protect their reefs. And the animals are so valuable that the ideal situation is for them to have a sustainable fishery so that they can uh, rely on these resources into the future.